welcome to this chat view with Tom Evans and the English sisters. Hello, Tom. Hello. Hello there. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, this is the first time we've talked this year, isn't it? It is, isn't yeah. It? yeah. Yeah, what's happened? This started a real um, gallop, hasn't it? I know. And we've heard that you're doing this wonderful new project. Well, it's mm -hmm. more than a project. You've got a whole website going, haven't you? Recipes yeah, for that's... Fresh Thinking. Yeah. Yeah, recipes for fresh thinking, yeah. And we want to do some cooking, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've, we've had the ingredients. Remember the, 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 one of the chat views we did about the book Flavors of Thought? Yeah, yeah. So the flavors are the ingredients. And in the back of that book, I show how you can put them together in recipes. And the whole recipe side of things has taken off. And I've now made it into a new site. And the idea is that. If you change your thoughts, then it changes your mind, and then it changes your world. Well, we know a lot about wow, that, don't we? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's well known, but we, we just forget. We don't think about thinking anymore, do we? We just, we just think. It's like riding a bike. You don't think about riding that bike. No. And it's very hard to unlearn to ride a bike. It's harder to unlearn to ride a bike than it is to learn to ride one. Well, I don't think anyone could unlearn how to do it. Well, pretty hard. I think you'd have to sort of put them into a deep trance or something. I think so. Forgotten completely yeah, how to ride a bike. Mm, cool. Yeah. Because it becomes so, part of your unconscious, doesn't it? Yeah. Unconscious. Yeah. And then your your body would just take over. I mean, just imagine if you aren't if you do get on a bike. Mm. You know, you're just going to want to pedal because you don't want to fall over. No, you don't. No. <laughs> so, so you know, you have to sort of relearn how to. Think about thinking. So that's why it's yes. so hard to do yeah. it on your own, I think. Yeah, you need to yeah. follow. So some... if you are in this habitual pattern of yeah. doing something in a certain way and thinking these certain thoughts, it's going to be very difficult for you to get out of that on your own because you, you, you're, you're, holding you're not on aware to of it. it. You're not aware no, of you it. You are, but you're holding on to it because you think it's what's keeping you afloat. That's right. It's like on the bike, you don't want to fall down, do you? No, no, you don't, no. Yeah, if that makes any sense to you, Tom, we've gone off on a bit of a ramble there. Yeah. Well, it's so interesting because if you bake a cake, you know, you all, and you always follow the same recipe, you will always get the same cake, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's and if true. you think the world's out to get us and that life is hard, then the world will be out to get us and life will be hard. Well, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, isn't it? Yeah, or we yeah. think that actually, maybe what's happening is the world is just out there to teach us things. Mm. And by learning, then we can grow. And you know what, I, a lot of people that I work with say, you know, get used to just saying that simple two words, thank you. So yeah, when you get you. Um, adversity, don't see it as adversity, see it as an opportunity and say, well actually, this is a, a situation which I can learn about and grow through. And funny enough, when you do that, not only does that adversity disappear, but you learn at the same time. It doesn't come back again. Well, that's wow. right, because there's no resistance, is there? Wow. Yeah. So yeah. we can have problems like we can, we can learn how it, what it's like to be non-abundant and not to be earning enough money. And we can learn how to um, to write a book. And But what happens is sometimes, as you know, because you're, you're authors, sometimes your fear can grow, can't it? And instead of the joy of writing the book, the fear can overtake you. And uh, it can be very hard, and everything get can get overwhelming. Yeah. And so uh, that's a bit like when you're learning to ride that bike. It can be very difficult when you first think, how how can I possibly balance on those two points? Yeah, you know, those, those two weird. points where yeah. the tires are touching the, the ground it doesn't make logical sense, does it? To be able to do this. Usually, someone uh, helps you though when yeah. you ride a bike, don't they? They teach yeah. you. Someone and helps you. you know, so you've got a helping hand. But like yeah, this, yeah. this recipe is for fresh thinking. Yeah. You can think of it like a helping hand. When you're learning to ride a bike, you've always, nearly always, got someone that helps you. Yeah, or you've got those little two wheels <laughs> that they stick on the back. Yeah. The yeah. You yeah. stabilise yeah. Your mum and dad or older brother, older sister. We didn't have friends. the stabilisers. We you? had someone that Did helped you? us. Well, dad helped us, yeah, exactly. I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, the site's all about this. The site is a stabiliser, so it's, it's actually to get everyone riding, to uh, to give them gentle ways of. You know, every week we send everyone an email, and they get a different way of thinking. And just for this week, 
think about things from this way, then the week after that, think about things in another way. And slowly you get to realise that we can be masters of our thoughts, not slaves to feelings. So they get like little tasks, anyone that would join would get like a little task. Yeah. yeah, I've got this, um, it's like an auto-responder sequence that sends an email out every week. So I don't want to bombard people with an email every day. And just for this one week, I take a flavour of thought and say, just think about your thinking this way for this week, and then the, the, way, the next way for the next week, and the next way for the next week. Mm. And then every month we're going to do these um, webinars. And for, for example, the, the webinar that's coming up next week, the first one is about um, goal setting. And you know right. Uh, we have smart goal setting, don't we, which is um, specific and measured and achievable, realistic and timed. Well, one of the things about smart goals are great. They're better than having no goals at all. But if you think about it, they're not that smart because they're based on your experience to date and your imagination. So what happens if there's a better plan than the thing you can think of? Yeah, just around they're limiting because in a way, aren't they? They, yeah. they, can, they can limit yeah. unless you're very, very good at setting them. So... <laughs> I've got a system which is a lot easier, it's called what, uh, goals based on what you want to learn. And what seems to happen when you set your goals based on what you want to learn, mm. then the universe, for want of a better phrase, seems to deliver the opportunities for you to grow and achieve them. And it seems to deliver way above what you ever imagined. Yeah, because it's like yeah. your mind is expanding, so your possibilities yeah. are expanding at the same time. Or perhaps you yeah. sort of see what you didn't see before. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And you learn the power of thank you, you know, because uh, you know when you when you thank opportunities for coming your way, then more opportunities come in. When you thank blocks for surfacing, and you go through these blocks and you see them as opportunities for you to grow, then they kind of vaporise and disappear. So it's a much easier way of being. And what's lovely about it is that. We get continually surprised by the gems that come along. For example, meeting you two last year. It's just a, such a great um, uh, uh, bonus for me. I wasn't expecting that at all. And being able to have these chat views, you know, this is uh, in fact, you know, we, we didn't even uh, plan this, did we? It just so happened that we were both available just now. Yeah. And it's just perfect timing. Uh, but if we try and make it, if we try and force things, sometimes they don't happen. No, if you're sort of too needy, they don't happen either, do they? If you really want yeah. something to happen right there and then, and you haven't got, like, the patience, it's like a little, if you plant a little seed in your garden, you can't expect it to grow straight away. You no. have to look after it and care for it. And if something mm -hmm. goes wrong with it, you sort of give it a little helping hand, don't you? Well, you have to allow for the necessary time. Yeah. To, to and there, there are two of the flavors of thought. One is uh, germination, the other is cultivation. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <And> we, <in laughs> we probably remember in, that. In, we, often put, we often put adaptations. So sometimes you've got to change things. So you might need to change the amount of water you put in, yeah. or the, 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 uh, the where it is in the garden so it gets a little bit more sunlight, or you put some more compost in, or change the soil type, and stuff like that. And those are metaphors for how we go on in life is that we start off with the seed, yeah. we want to grow it. But sometimes it doesn't go as we like, so we've got to change it a little bit. Um, but when you get used to living in this way and thinking in this way, and just taking your ego out of the situation and taking your conscious mind out of the situation, you can get into a situation where it, it, everything becomes very, very easy. And I'll give you an example of that. It's self-fulfilling. Is the site that we're talking about, recipesforfreshthinking.com, mm. didn't exist even two months ago. And I just had the idea that I'd like to uh, do this site. And the very day I had this idea, I put a tweet up on Twitter saying, anyone know anything about uh, doing a membership site? Mm -hmm. And uh, this lovely lady, Jackie Walker, said to me, uh, well, there's a webinar this evening on how to grow a membership site. <laughs> that's like, yeah, so that's I went cute. To a webinar, and this lady, Karen Skidmore, uh, who ended up being a, a mentor to me for growing the site, said, use this software, this software, this software, this software. Uh, use this lady for support in America. She's really good at supporting these sites. And within 60 days, the site came together. So I've gone from zero to fully functioning site. And we've got members signing up, people buying the products within 60 days. Wow. And that is an incredibly short space of time uh, to get a new business uh, venture. Well, it's like the fruition of a light bulb moment, isn't it? Mm. And that was the seed. And, and, and I, I did some stupid things in those 60 days. I, I said, well, it can't be that easy. I did the classic things, 
to a, oh, I'll try to, I'll, I know you said use that thing, but I'll try this one because that might be better. Uh. The thing that I tried was worse than the thing that I was recommending in the first place was absolutely perfect. And then you go, oh, you, did, you idiot. And what the point is, I just need to learn that I've been gifted this thing and, uh, and it's a great vehicle to, uh, to share some of the gems that I've come across with, with the world. And a very easy way of doing it, because it's all done electronically. If you know you're coming to the webinar next week, you haven't got to leave your home and we can talk to the whole planet about these lovely, simple ways of being. Right, because oh, we'll yeah. be attending next week and um, yeah. looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, and wow, we've, it's probably something we wouldn't do because we have families, as yeah, well, you know, yeah. we've got two children each, and so you know, the evening is sort of family time, and we wouldn't mm. be wanting to go out anywhere. No. So the fact that it is just at home, mm. you could just say, Okay, I'm just popping into the other room a minute, yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. even in the same room you're in, you can even share. Yeah. And it's so lovely, you know, and you can involve your family in these kind of things as well. And they can mm. become more open-minded and creative. And uh, you have so many gems and gifts to share with the world, Tom, that it's, you yeah, know, it really so very is creative a fabulous way. opportunity for anyone to, yeah. you know, just to log in Definitely. and uh, come yeah. and visit you. If you can't make it, then it'll be in the archives so people can play it back. So that's it. So it's been great fun getting this far. I'm really, I'm really excited about it. And, uh, and so it's what's going to be in this webinar next week? What are you going to get us excited yeah. about? <laughs> For next week or the week after? Sorry, the week that. after the, the first one, the, the first, first one, one that's coming up. The it's first one's Monday, all about it? goals and learning. How to set goals that will exceed your wildest dreams. Oh, <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> and how they deliver to you without you doing anything. You see, that's yeah, already because you think your dreams, are, you've already, even in your dreams, like we were talking you before, said a limit, said, don't if you? you had to dream, what would your favourite car be? And the, yeah. man, what would you would, want? Yeah. He, wouldn't, he wouldn't actually tell us, he couldn't even actually verbalise what he would want. No. Because he was scared. I said, in the end, I said, why, why can't you just say, I'm in a Ferrari, Rolls Royce, what would you like? He said, oh no, I couldn't say. He wouldn't even dare to dream. He wouldn't even dare to dream, which was really sad. Mm. Because he says, if I do say, I don't know, something so bad might happen to me. You know. Yeah, where's that thought yeah. come from? That's, that's all guilt, isn't it? And, you know, yeah. maybe it comes from Roman Catholicism or something like that was brought up. Well, in yes, Rome, actually, in he is. He's an English fellow, but he was, his mother was Roman. Though. Yeah, Roman she was Catholic. a Catholic. Yeah, yeah. 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 could be. Could and that's be. That, that thought process, going back to how we started here, that life has to be hard and somehow we're not worthy and this is embedded in our culture, in our religion, in our education and yeah. that is it's a fallacy, it's absolutely wrong. There's enough abundance on this planet for not just 6 billion people, 7 billion people and also, uh, in with, but, but also all the um, the other life forms on the planet too, this is really is heaven on earth uh, yeah. but some of us choose to make it hell. That's such a beautiful way to end, yeah, Tom. Yeah, heaven on earth. This really this is, is heaven, heaven on earth. earth. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And we just have to enjoy all, now. We have to all make it our heaven. Yeah, definitely. It is, and this is the year, this 2012. We hear lots of lots of theories about uh, what's happening this year, and the Mayan calendar, and Armageddon, and Ascension, and all these things that people talk about. And actually what's happening is that we're just going through a transition where all the old patterns where things don't work, you know, we're seeing the euro fail, we're seeing the financial markets fail, we're seeing all of these things not working. It doesn't mean that they haven't been good, it just means that there's probably something better. And sometimes to get to the something better, we've got to learn things. And by learning, by learning, we grow and we expand and we change our capabilities. By setting targets, like I must get a million dollars, I must earn that, get that Ferrari, we're missing the boat completely, you know, it's not about that. Yeah. And um, it gives you another phrase just to end on, there's only one thing you can take with you and that's your evolution. And there's only one thing you can leave behind and that's your art. Oh, <laughs> that's so lovely. <laughs> that's lovely. All right, bye-bye, Okay, well, it was lovely talking to you. Take care. Bye. bye.